Hafidi, I'm Ken Kitaniza here reporting at the University of Guam, better known as the Election Return Center. Uh, the Guam Election Commission shortly after 10.30 started tabulating uh, precincts 16A and 16, both from Manila and 18F from Derido. I'm joined here by Guam Election Commission Chairman uh, Joe Mesa. Joe, first can you just tell me, how was your election day? Well, it was pretty cool. A little rain this morning. Uh, unfortunately, it turned out. It looks like it's going to be very low, maybe around 50%. 15? 50. 50. Not 50. That's pretty optimistic, but I know along with uh, the voter uh, turnout, I know one of the issues the GEC discussed tonight was uh, particularly the one-sided printed ballots, namely with the Republican Party candidates. First, can you just tell me, how do you feel about that? Well, I don't know the whole story yet, and we're going to uh, find out what happened. Um, as you know, the board uh, had agreed to tabulate all the ballots, and then when we wrap up here, we will go over every single ballot to make sure that every vote is counted and there's nothing wrong. And we'll find out what happened. Obviously, it's got to be a printing area there. And uh, we'll look at the inventory sheets, uh, but I can assure the voters and the public that we will get to the bottom of it. I know that the GEC, they noted some people seeing the one-sided ballots in Agani Heights Elementary. Also, I heard Maria Ujoa, uh, Maria Pangolina noted that 18 were found at uh, Timoning Elementary, right. one at Wedding Gale, and one at Lee Guan Elementary. Um, is this something that has normally happened before? No. Uh, they, they're, they're, you know, in printing, and depending upon how the weather is, you know, sometimes they get stuck together, two pieces of paper, but uh, not of this magnitude that I've uh, all my experience. But there must, there's got to be an answer, I mean, a reason for it, and we'll find out what it is. I know that uh, the ESNS consultant noted that uh, once the machine won't take one sided ballots and will actually spit it out, and these will be counted as spoiled ballots. Um, can you tell me again about the motion that the commission made about what, tabulating all of them and what happens after? Just to assure both sides, uh, this is a partisan election, and it's a primary. Uh, we will count, machine count, all the ballots, and then when we secure here tomorrow morning, and we go back down to our main office, then we will go over every single ballot to make sure that there's no one side of them. Okay. And then we will match that up with the results. If there is, then we will cross that bridge. Then. I know that you guys still have some time, though, because the GEC doesn't have to certify the results until 10 days after. Why yeah. so? Well, the new law, which is, uh, you know, was, uh, addresses absentee ballots. Absentee ballots have, uh, can be received up until 10 days after the election, and obviously we have to wait for that to be certified. Also, the provisional gives us time to look at the provisional ballots. And if there are any complaints, if anybody have, has a complaint, you need to submit that to the election commission as soon as possible because we need to address all complaints before we start. So it gives us a little time. Anything else want to add? Um, no, um, no, time it's for, be, uh, What time do you see us finishing here? Oh, we'd be here for a while, I mean. Not yeah. earlier than as initially thought? Well, two o'clock we may, hopefully should be finished, but there's a lot of behind the scene work that's gotta be done. You know, you guys are just interested in the results. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's gotta be secured. And, and Thanks again, Joe, I really appreciate the time. Again, reporting here for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by Triple J, celebrating 30 years of putting our customers first.